Hey guys! Movie is here again. Today we'll show you a 2013 action, thriller movie called The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care if you haven't watched yet. Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malark have settled into a life of material comfort and emotional unease back in District 12 following their joint victory in the 74th Hunger Games. Katniss was traumatized from the games and remains emotionally distant from PETA. President Snow visits Katniss and reveals that her defiance in the games has inspired revolts across Bottom. To suppress the rebellion, he demands that she and PETA feign love during the victory tour, threatening to destroy District 12 and kill their families if they refuse. During their victory tour, Katniss and PETA's speeches only lead to further unrest across the districts. The two publicly announce their engagement in an attempt to persuade Ponham citizens of their love. However, President Snow and the districts remain unconvinced. At the Capitol, Katniss meets the mysterious new head game maker Plutarch Heavensby. Upon returning home, Katniss witnesses the brutality of the Capitol's peacekeepers. Gail is publicly whipped for trying to intervene in their beating of civilians, leading to a violent confrontation that results in Katniss, Peta and Hamich's involvement. The 75th Hunger Games, also known as the Third Quarter Quell, is announced with a twist, tributes are to be selected from the existing pool of victors. As the only living female victor from District 12, Katniss is forced to compete in the games, with Peta volunteering to join her. In a last attempt to halt the games, Peta announces during his pre-games interview that he and Katniss had already married and are expecting a child, leading to an further outcry by Capitol citizens. As ordered by Snow, Katniss wears a wedding dress for her interview, but Cinna, her stylist, designs it to shift into a mocking J symbol. Just before Katniss enters the arena, Cinna is brutally beaten in front of her and later killed for altering the dress. In the games, Katniss and Peta form an alliance with Finnico Darren the elderly Mags from District 4. They encounter a deadly poisonous fog at night, Mags sacrifices herself so the others can escape. The group also fights a pack of genetically mutated mandrels, during which the female tribute from District 6 sacrifices herself to save Peta. Fleeing to the beach, the group unites with Beatty and Wireless from District 3, and Joanna Mason, the female tribute from District 7. Wireless discovers that the arena is designed like a clock, with dangers recurring at set intervals. The group is suddenly ambushed by the careers. Katniss and Joanna kill Gloss and Kashmir, but Wireless is also killed in the encounter. Beatty proposes a plan to lure the remaining careers to the wet beach and electrocute them using the lightning strikes recurring every 12 hours. The group splits to prepare the trap, laying a wire from a tree to the shoreline. When District 2 tributes Brutus and Enoberia appear, Joanna incapacitates Katniss, cutting the tracker out of her arm before fleeing. Katniss finds an unconscious Beatty, apparently electrocuted by contact with the arena's force field. Unable to find Peta and hearing a cannon, Katniss nearly attacks Finnick, suspecting his betrayal, but he reminds her to remember who the real enemy is. Katniss attaches the wire to an arrow, firing it into the arena's roof just as lightning strikes. The electricity travels along the wire, destroying the arena's force fields, and causing its computer systems to fail. Katniss is knocked unconscious by the lightning strike and is picked up by a hovercraft. Katniss awakes in the hovercraft and finds Hamish, Finnick, a still unconscious Beatty, and Heavensby, who is revealed to be a rebel against Snow. Hamish tells her they are bound for District 13, headquarters of the new rebellion. He reveals that Katniss is the face of the rebellion, and half of the tributes were in on the plan to rescue her. However, Peta and Joanna were captured by the capital. Enraged, Katniss attacks Hamish for violating his promise to save Peta before she is sedated. She awakens in District 13 with Gale. He reassures her that her family is safe, but that District 12 has been destroyed by the capital. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.